Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, let's talk about Mercari. Mercari, Mercari, Mercari. Um, I do enjoy Mercari. Um, I'm going to tell you about some Bolo items. I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what it sold for. If you guys are not selling on Mercari, um, it's a great platform. Uh, I really don't have any complaints. And if you'd like to sign up, I do have a code down in the description. And I think when you sign up, you get $10. And then when you sell $100 worth of items, you get another $20. And it's like a coupon to buy stuff, which I have to admit that I have a weakness for shopping on Mercari. I love shopping on Mercari. It's like my favorite platform. It's like my go-to. I don't know why, but I really like shopping on Mercari. And I like selling on Mercari too. But anyway, I start my items on eBay. That's where I list everything too. And then I cross post typically in the evenings at night before I go to bed. So I do use list perfectly to cross post. It just gets my items from eBay over to Poshmark and Mercari super fast, super easy, saves me time and time is money. And time is just like so precious. You know, there's just not enough hours in the day to get everything done. So um, list perfectly. I've been using it since 2019 and I love it just as much now as I did the day I got it. It is just, um, it's worth every penny. So if you are interested in checking it out, I do have a coupon referral code BOLO BUDDIES that will get you 30% um, off your first month. So you can look for that link down below. There's also a uh, demo video also if you want to check that out. All right, you guys, are you ready to see some Mercari What Solds? And um, these are all hard goods, hard good items that sold on Mercari. So um, if clothing, I just left the clothing off. I think I sold some brawls and yeah, I just, um, we'll keep it at the hard goods. All right, let's see. Let me get my screen share up. All right, so the first item I sold, um, I picked this up at a garage sale. I actually picked up two of them. One of them is still left, but it's a vinyl lettering wall. Um, art. So it's those like stickers that you put on the wall and then they stick. Um, but this one is a, a Bible scripture. So people look for that to decorate probably more like a, a living room or something like that. I guess maybe a bedroom. I don't know, but it's sold for $23 free shipping. So I covered the shipping on that. I typically cover the shipping on Mercari. Um, I'm I like free shipping on Mercari. I did a video and I talked about it and some people were like, oh, you should be charging shipping. So there are a few items where I decided to charge shipping to see if it made any difference. So I'm kind of playing around with things, but I think I like free shipping for Mercari. I know I get the fee on, it's more of a fee because I've got the shipping built into the cost of the item. But um, I don't know. I just, I like free shipping on Mercari. So I sold this for $23 free shipping. The next item that sold is this Barbie doll from Craft Treasures. And I got this at a garage sale. And I'm going to say it was probably a couple bucks. Uh, that's typically what I pay. I don't recall right offhand how much I paid for it, but probably a couple dollars. And it sold for $21 free shipping. The next item are these American Girl Boots. And they are Nikki's cowgirl boots. And they sold for $28 with free shipping. So American girl shoes can definitely be a bolo item. 28 bucks for these little shoes, you guys. Pretty cool, right? The next item I sold is this vintage Empire pewter baby cup rattle and brush. So again, just a unique item. I picked this up at a garage sale, if I remember correctly. Maybe it was an estate sale. I'm going to tell you the truth. I have had it a long time. So it has been a long tail item. I thought it was going to be, I thought it would do better than it did, but it finally sold for $33 and free shipping. And I probably had $5 or less than this if I had to guess. The next item I sold is this Heartstone coffee mug. And I have talked to you guys about Heartstone before. I typically pick up Heartstone if it's a couple, a dollar or two, sometimes $2. It just depends, but they will be marked. They are marked differently depending on the mug, but this one is marked like this. Sold for $22 plus uh, free shipping on that one. The next item is this wood carved owl, super cute. 
Um, this came out of my bulk buy jewelry lot. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. And I sold this for $20 with free shipping. And it's just adorable. The next item that sold are these My Little Pony dress up magnets. And um, I, I want to say these came from a garage sale and they had a carry case. And I took them out of the case just to make it more lightweight. And I was like, I'll just sell the ponies and the magnets. And I sold them for $17 with free shipping. The next item that sold are these Brave Cake Toppers. I don't know if you're familiar with this movie, but the little characters tend to do pretty well. I sold this for $16 with free shipping. And, you know, it's probably five ounces or less. So it didn't cost too much to ship. The next item is this vintage Charles Craft cross stitch bib. And I just sold this one out uh, just uh, three or four days ago. So it is on the way to the buyer. It's cool. It's like a crafting bib and it sold for $20 free shipping. The next item is this American Girl Charm Keeper Necklace. And um, you can see the little charms. Now, um, here is the other lot. There's 10 charms and the necklace. And I believe if I remember correctly, these went to the same buyer. They bought this one for $27 and this one for $20. So $47 free shipping for those items. The next item is this cursive dry erase practice board. It sold for $12 free shipping. Uh, I believe I picked that up at a garage sale for like 50 cents or a dollar. Maybe it was in a mystery box. I can't recall, but I didn't pay much for it. Um, definitely easy to list. You know, it's just take a few pictures and it's pretty much it is what it is. Sold for 12 with free shipping. The next item sold to one of my subscribers and she is also a member of my Bolo Buddies channel. So if you guys want to check out memberships, you can do that by looking down below by like the subscribe button and all of that stuff, the like, there is a button that says join. If you'd like to know the different perks for being a member, you can check out that video. But anyway, um, a member of the group or a member of my uh, Bolo Buddies YouTube channel purchased this from me. And I really, really appreciate that. And I, I'm not sure if she's reselling some of this or if she's just going to uh, keep it. So I'm not going to shout her out by name just in case because I didn't ask. I kind of forgot. So, um, but yeah, she is a subscriber. So if you're watching, thank you. I appreciate your purchase very, very much. And um, sold for $59 free shipping. So lots and lots of jewelry there. Definitely could be a reseller lot. Um, it's just going to take some time. Uh, and it can also be great for personal use because everything's wearable. The next item I sold are these hamsters. And they sold for $22 free shipping. And I believe I got those at the bargain hunt. If I or Actually, you know what? Maybe these came from a garage sale. I didn't take, I didn't write down notes for Mercari and Poshmark. I always write down notes for eBay. And I was like, I can remember. No, you can't. No, you can't. You can't remember everything. So anyway, but I probably had a couple bucks in them. Next item are these Bratz MGA cake toppers. They sold for $13 with free shipping. Super cute. They just go on top of a cake and then the kids can play with them after they eat their cake. Um, I, I don't know if they're vintage or not, but, uh, $13 free shipping on those. And I probably got them at a garage sale or in a mystery box. I can't remember. The next item are these My Little Pony talking light up ponies and they, uh, talk and light up <laughs> and they sold for $24 free shipping. And if I remember correctly, those came from a garage sale. This Hallmark keepsake ornament from 2011, it's a little kitty. It's called Mischievous Kittens, and it's from 2011, and it sold for $18 free shipping, and that came out of a mystery box. The next item is this vintage Mattel Barbie 1988 Avon brooch. I sold this for $16 with free shipping. This came out of my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. 
All right, this little vintage Fairy Winkles Kenner vintage toy. And um, this is the little guy I was talking. I was, I was over on Chosen Goods Resellers channel and she was unboxing a box from Auctions for You. And an item came up and it had something to do with Fairy Winkles. And I'm like, I've sold a Fairy Winkle. So this is a Fairy Winkle if anybody's wondering. But definitely go check out that video where we unbox that. I'm like the little person in the corner, but I'm talking. And then she unboxes it and it's vintage toys. It was a lot of fun. Again, that's Chosen Goods Reseller. Okay, so this VHS, The Little Mermaid, sealed in the case. You guys, I got this at the bins. And it was kind of, I was kind of being funny, like, oh, I found a black diamond DVD or not DVD. I don't even know if it's black diamond VHS. Um, but it sold pretty quickly and you can see it's kind of beat up, but it is still sealed. And I sold it for $29 with free shipping. And, um, yeah, so that is that. Let's see. And that was the bins fine. So by weight, whatever the weight was. The next item came out of my vintage mystery box. It was a vintage toy box that I purchased from Auctions for You. Super happy with that box. It was super fun to unbox and I learned a ton. If you guys are interested in checking out what all I got in that box, basically what I do is I unbox it. But as I'm unboxing it, I pop up screenshots of how I listed all of the items in the box. So it turns into not just an unboxing, but an educational video also. Um, I did sell this Hello Kitty for $39 free shipping. And the box that I bought from Auctions for You, the one I'm talking about that this was in, was a $100 box. So this item paid for like one third of my box, a little more than one third. So uh, very, very cool. It was a great box. You guys should definitely go check out that video. And you should definitely check out Auctions for You and Donatella Bottolino. I also have them linked down in the description. Um, that's where I pick up like my Dibble boxes from Donna and then T. I've gotten um, mystery toy boxes. I actually have another vintage toy box sitting upstairs that I need to unbox, but I got to find time to list everything. Um, because when I unbox it, I like to list everything so I can show you guys how I listed it. Uh, and it's a big box. So that will be in the near future, I hope. Uh, let's see what else. Let's see what else we sold here. Okay, so here's the vintage Scream Halloween mask. And you can see here, this is what it looks like on the bottom. I sold this for $154 with free shipping. Now, I listed this first on eBay. It went auction style. It sold for $99.99. The buyer did not pay. And I was super happy. And I put it over on Mercari and bumped up the price. The next item is this LOL doll lot. So it's a mismatch of dolls. Pretty much they all have issues. Um, like they have no heads or they have no bodies that go with the heads. And then those bodies have, I don't know, it's just a hot mess of shoes and it's a mixture. But this sold for $23 in free shipping. So I was happy with that. The next item also um, was sold to a subscriber of the channel and she reached out to me and said she was interested in this ring. I'm trying to think if I, how she saw it. Maybe it was in a video and she said she was, yeah, I think it was in one of my um, haul videos and she's like, I want that ring. So um, we talked about price and I went ahead and put it on Mercari for her and I sold it to her for $28 free shipping. The next item are these Medela Wide Base Slow Flow Nipples. I picked these up at a garage sale for I think 25 cents each or 50 cents each, something like that. These sold really, really fast. $11 free shipping, not huge profit margins, you guys, but a quick sale and easy to list. The next item I sold is this Naturally Fierce Perfume. And I sold this for $47 free shipping and it's Abercrombie & Fitch. And I think I got that at the same sale as the, the bottle nipples. So they both sold pretty quick. Uh, this perfume, I want to say it was a couple bucks. 
All right, the next one is this lot of four role-playing triangle dice. And I sold these for $45 with free shipping. And I kept meaning to go back and look at the guy's store that bought these from me because when I, he made the offer, sometimes I'll go in and like snoop around and see what else they're selling. If it's an item like this, especially when they tell me information like, oh, the purple one's not worth that much or something like that. I'm kind of like, okay, this is somebody that knows about this type of item. I'm going to see what else they're selling. And he was selling dice. So maybe I sold it to too cheap if he's a reseller and is buying it for 45 free shipping or, or he is a reseller that is also a collector and maybe he's buying them for personal use. I don't really know, but I really want to go look now. All right. The next item that sold are these vintage abalone shell stretch bracelets. Um, these sold for $40 free shipping. The next item is this Squishmallow Kelly, to Kelly toy pillow pet. Again, Squishmallows are kind of all over the place. Definitely go check out my video. I have two videos, one on my Sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel and one on my this main channel. And I talk about Squishmallows and what to look for and what not to look for um, because you can get caught up in the word Squishmallow and buy something that is really just bread and butter. So not all of them are big money. This little guy had some stains on his face, so I went ahead and sold him for $22 free shipping. All right, you guys, that concludes my Mercari sales. If you made it this far, say I made it to the end of the video. Thanks for being here. I appreciate all of you. Thanks for staying till the end if you made it this far. And thanks for watching.